Hey all, in the dozer today and I'm just trying to trying to push out this um, shallow channel here. Um, it's just over a blade width wide and I'm trying to use autos and I just want to show you a couple of tips um, and, and uh, explain a little bit about a thing called overcut protection and um, what it might mean and, and where it can be useful and maybe where it's not so useful. So at the moment trying to cut out this this channel here and you can see um, you know almost like a little mini slot in front of me where I've been working on it um, but sometimes you, you, you might find uh, you, you're trying to actually cut through this bank here and that's okay you want to do that you want to go a bit wider in the bottom um, and then actually just use that material um, that's building up as you push, the, push this out and come back and finish off that batter later. Um, but you can see that at the moment my, my uh, left blade tip cut fill is saying to raise it up and when I go into autos it's actually raising the blade up and I don't want it to do that I want it to stick to the bottom of the of the of the swale drain here so that's a bit of a pain and it started to happen as my uh, as my tip has gone um, past the the slope on the side of this even though my vertical guidance points right in the middle there so just want to show you a couple of things here so you can come into this overlays menu and scroll up here and there's the design line preview so if I turn that on this is actually where the cut and fills are getting generated to so you can see the the dashed blue line there so when I go into autos the system's doing the right thing it's going to that dashed blue line but that's not what I want I actually want it to stick flat to the bottom here and I'll come back and I'll use some of the excess material to form that slope later. So why is that happening? Well let's go into press and hold on my blade icon it's because of this it's because overcut protection is turned on. Now that's handy in some other scenarios I'll cover that in another video um, but for now when I'm trying to do this work it's not helping. So now have a look at that dash blue line. It's flat with the bottom of the swale and that's what I want. And when I go into auto, now it's, it's actually lifting me up because I've got a bit of cut there. Um, but you can see now that my cut fills, it's not telling my left hand tip to raise. Um, it's going to drive and do what I want now um, and just cut into that bank. And like I say, I'll use the material along the edge to shape up that slope on the edge of the swale later. Okay, hope that helps. Cheers.